Hello guys, welcome to today's news. The Chief of Defense Staff have said the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Simon Epa, sabotaging, is sabotaging their efforts in the southeast region of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. General Musa alleged that Simon Epa is receiving protection from Finland. General Musa made the accession during a sectoral debate at the House of, House of Representatives on Tuesday, the 21st of November 2023, where he was accompanied by other services chiefs and the Inspector General of Police. According to General Musa, Simon Elkba, currently is hiding in Finland, has been impeding the peace restoration initiative in the southeast. The defense chief suggested that Simon Elkba's activities and comments were counterproductive to the to the military and security agencies in this attempt to maintain peace in the southeast region. The Ramusa went further to allege that Simon Epa is receiving protection from Finland and in the light of this urged the federal government to engage with the Finnish government. He proposed the possibility of inviting the Finnish ambassador to Nigeria to discuss the situation and find a solution. While addressing the House of Representatives, General Musa noted that the importance of addressing the issue promptly to avoid further escalation of tension in the Southeast, the indigenous people of Biafra leader Simon Epa assumed the leadership role after the arrest and detention of Mazi Oindo in Kano by the Nigerian Secret Police the Department of State Services. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP which is a separatist group in the Federal Republic of Nigeria that aims to restore the defunct Republic of Diafra, a country which seceded from Nigeria prior to the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970. Since 2021, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP and other Biafran separatist groups have been fighting a low guerrilla conflict in the southeastern part of the Federal Republic of Nigeria against the Nigerian government. The group was founded in 2012 by Mazi Oindu Namdokanu and Uche Mefo. Mazi Oindu Namdokanu, who is known as a British Nigerian political activist known for his advocacy of the contemporary Biafra independence movement. It was deemed a terrorist organi organization by the Nigerian government in 2017 under the Nigerian Terrorism Act. As of 2022, the United Kingdom started denying asylum to members of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP who engaged in human rights abuses. Though the United Kingdom government has clarified that the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP had not been designated as a terrorist organization. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, which has criticized the Nigerian government for poor investment, political alienation, alienation inequitable resource distribution, ethnic marginalization, and every, every military presence, extrajudicial killing in the southeastern, south central, and the part of the north central region of the country. The organization rose to prominence in the mid 20s, 2010s and is now the largest Biafra independence organization by membership. In recent years, it is, has gained significant media attention for becoming a frequent target of the political crackdown by the Nigerian government. It was also numerous sites and it also has numerous sites and communication channels serving as a trusted social apparatus, educating and inculcating first hand information to and news to its members. Someone Elpa, who is also a self acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Simon Elpa, who is a Nigerian born Finnish lawyer, political activist and former athlete. He is one of the current leaders of the Biafra independence movement. He is designed as the Prime Minister of the Biafra, Biafra Republic Government in Exile organization. Simon Elpa, who was born on the 21st of March 1985 in Oraku local government area of Ebony State, Nigeria, he has won a silver medal for Nigeria in 100 meters in 2003 African Junior Athletic, Athletics Court Championship in Cameroon. Simon Elpa, who has lived in Lati, Finland since 2007, he is a member of the National Coalition Party of Finland and was a candidate in the 2022 Finnish county elections. After completing his high school education, he enrolled at Abetz University to pursue a master's degree in law. He, is also, he also went to the Canyon College for additional studies. 
on the 25th of May 2023, Simon Epa at the African Day celebration in Essex, Finland, the Universal Peace Federation awarded Simon Epa the Ambassador for Peace. According to a report from Yao, Simon Epa's activism started to gather mainstream attention in February 2023. The local Kokumo's party in Lati stated that they have started an internal investigation on these claims. Oji Anya Ani, the representing the Association of Igbo Union Finland, stated in the same interview that Simon Elpa should stop inciting hatred and provoking. He also said that Simon Elpa does not represent the Igbo people of Finland. The Nigerian government has also demanded the Finland to stop Simon Elpa's activities. Yao interviews with residents of Enugu State suggested extensive fear of Simon Elpa and compliance with his stay at home orders involving the 2023 Nigerian election. In late February 2023, it was reported that Simon Elpa is being suspected of having raised funds in an illegal manner by the Finnish National Bureau of Investigation. Simon Elpa, who was made lead broadcaster from for Radio Biafra, associated with the separatist organization, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, after the arrest of the political activist Mazi Oindunam Bekanu. However, Simon Elpa was not allowed to broadcast on the radio, citing violation of the rules of the organization. As of 2023, Simon Elpa has been called the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile. It has been it has been he has been called on different articles referred to him as Prime Minister and self acclaimed Prime Minister. Simon Elpa who stated in twenty twenty three that the Biafra Republic government in exile is registered and approved and also legal. He also said the agents of Nigeria to take note as the Biafra Republic government in exile is registered, approved and legal. In December 2022, Simon Elpas ordered a five-day sit-at-home civil disobedience campaign in the southeast of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and part of the southern Nigeria from, from the 9th to the 14th of December 2022. On the 14th of June 2023, Simon Elpas also announced another sit-at-home, but this one was a week long. Simon Elpas announced a week-long sit-at-home at home, a sit-at-home campaign from the 3rd of July 2023 to the 10th of July 2023, which, according to reporters, recorded 70% compliance. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.